Hello everybody, it's Kate Plays, back again with another video. Um, this time I am here for some tips and tricks that I recently just learned uh, while managing this very not well put together zoo for the recent community challenge again. So I found out something really cool that helped me uh, in the prior parts of, or ending parts of this community challenge. And I wanted to share it with you all. So yeah, um, this has to do with managing the population of a super easy breedable species that you're trying to just breed for, you know, gold stars or, um, you know, so that you can release them or whatever it may be, breeding them, releasing them, whatever it may be. Um, I had an explosion of penguins again, just like I did during the last one that included them for breeding, and I had an explosion of meerkats, so I thought I would just bring them to a, an African zoo and make a huge, um, a huge habitat that I could just let them breed in overnight literally while I slept so that we could complete the community challenge and it ended up working pretty well but I came back in the morning and my zoo was freaking out because there was just so many penguins in this zoo um oh you see it's still got quite a few but not as bad as it was in franchise mode. I could barely move the screen. I had like thousands of penguins. Um, so, oh no. So usually I can prevent that as much as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what I've managed to do to help continuously breed the penguins I wanted to. The meerkats have been pretty good, um, but the penguins, tend to be a little bit harder to manage. And as you see, I'm at 106. When I had, when I got up today, I had um, <clears throat> like thousands. Uh, so what I first do is make sure to pause it every couple minutes, especially if you're running it on fast. And when you are going through this menu, if things are happening, like penguins are being born or aging up or maturing or, becoming elderly or dying, you know, that's going to shuffle this list continuously as you're trying to manage your population. And as it gets bigger, that is going to be very frustrating that as you keep trying to click on certain animals, you keep having to re-click on them because the list is getting shuffled and it just isn't fun. So I highly recommend with high population of animals that you're trying to sort that you go ahead and pause your game when you do the sort just every so often and then you can just put it back on high speed to breed as you go. So first thing I do when managing the population is I go into my <clears throat> population that I currently have and I'm going to sort by maturity and then the specific species that I'm looking for. And every time a new set of babies is born, I'm instantly going to apply contraceptive to those that don't meet the, the rebreeding requirements that I have. So I needed gold status, and I went from like 260, we had a little dip, and then we went back up really high. Um, but as you see, it's random contraceptives throughout. And these these guys are all gold rated, no contraceptive adults that have stuck around. And as these come out and they become infertile, I know that I don't need them. So as you can see, I've managed to accumulate quite, I just honestly with these infertile ones that I have deemed as in qualified to continue on breeding based off of their rating or appeal or whatever qualifications it may be, then they're already infertile. So they're not going to breed. And it's easy for me to identify and go through and click out 
Oh, well, <laughs> I'm not going to let these guys go yet because they're not aged up, but they will age up shortly uh, and then they can be sent off. So these ones, I just go back and forth between releasing and quick trading because that's going to help me build up my conservation credits and my finance management at the same time, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just quick trade these because I recently sold a bunch. Now I'm going to play again. It's going to quick trade for a moment. Then I'm going to pause. And then I'm going to come back. And I'm going to again sort by maturity and the breed I am looking for. Okay, so I don't have any more. And then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And usually as these penguins get, so if you go to Zoopedia, so 14 years is the age of sexual sterility. So especially in these challenges, when this penguin reaches around like 12 years, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the, send it to my trade center and then put it on the market for one conservation credit. And what this does is it allows somebody else to get a few years to hopefully breed a couple more gold penguins and then keeps my rotating stock of um, penguins in here. And usually what I'll also try to do is randomly pull in a younger penguin of caliber from the market into my zoo. And that helps with inbreeding. Um, you can still get gold rated penguins and a lot of the other ones with inbreeding. As you see my meerkats, you can't so much because my meerkats, if I do the same thing, you'll see I'm really lacking on gold. I'm kind of getting back up there, but I haven't really done the same thing here to ensure that, yeah, ensure that these stayed. So I haven't been getting as much production from these. If I put in like another, um, male or something, or maybe got rid of, um, Maybe when like this one, oh, that's a gold male. Maybe that guy will start breeding a lot with her. Um, but I could probably get rid of a lot of these like lower males released to wild. See, I'll go between releasing males to the wild and trading. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and speed up time for a minute. And you should see that like some meerkats will be traded. We might get, oh look, we had another, let's see, African penguins. So we had another birth, but they were all gold. Oh, so maybe that was a part of that birth and it wasn't that. So we have another African penguin expecting. And then you're gonna, just gonna go back and check, right? So 10. Yours is my oldest, I'll hold on to them for a couple more years. This, These will become adults soon and we'll go ahead and either release them to the wild or... <clears throat> okay, so you see I just had a, a round of offspring here. What I wanna go do is go immediately put this one who's not gold, even though he meets the appeal requirements, he's not gold. So I don't want him to continue to breed because the likeliness of, of him continuing to make gold is not as high. So I'm going to go ahead and immediately put contraceptives there. That's also going to be a really easy indicator to me as I come down here and I see that some of these adults, you see what's happening, what I tried to explain earlier. Tip one, pause the game I'm trying to mess with these. Once this once these two age up, you'll see what I mean about how it'll be easy for me to identify which penguins I might want to give away. Okay. I have another batch. <clears throat> so again, African penguin. I think you all might be starting to get the deal here. 
you know, I didn't have another batch. Those are... That one only had two, and that one was not one that I wanted to continue to breed. Yeah, let's see. So you may see that some of them will start to mature now. That's nice, thank you. Ignore the ugliness of this. Zoo. Again, it was really strictly just for these two to just get them out of my main zoo. It was starting to lag a lot and then use them to breed up. Uh, okay, so African penguin maturity pause. Okay, so let's do some work here again. So that, oh, we got lots of them. Okay, so let's roll down here. Okay, so you see how these two have matured, but they're infertile because I had them on contraceptives. Now I know immediately that these two, I don't, I don't want them. Um, did I really see it? Meerkats to the wild? I guess I'll quick treat these guys. And then maturity. African penguin, already on contraceptives. 10.9 years is still pretty good. Um, so we hit 100% of the target. I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh. Um, right now I have 1,134 animals born and there's four hours left, but essentially that's what I do. So like I'll take these older ones in a couple years, put them in my trade center and have them out. We've got another penguin pregnant here. Um, and then as these ones age up, they'll all be shipped out of the zoo. So yeah. Um, we'll let it play for a little bit longer. The meerkats are not doing as good. Like in that case, you might want to, um, go, uh, let's see, that's not going to matter because we need a boy. I mean, I have so many. We'll send you there first. It shouldn't take long. Okay, so you see how that notification told me there's about to be offspring too, so now I know. I'm going to my zoo, maturity, African penguin. Okay, this one is brand new, not gold, so I'm gonna go ahead and, oh. Look, these ones are not either. But we've had quite a few. And then let's pause the game. And just for the purpose of showing you all like how I'll do this, because these could really be beneficial for another, you know, person. And I have a lot of penguins here. So let's just take everybody who's like 11 and 9. And I'm going to send them to the trade center, play, and then pause again really quickly, go maturity. <clears throat> African penguin. I'm gonna see if anybody has aged up. Yeah, okay, so these have aged up. Um, I don't think they would stay on contraceptives when you sent them out there, would they? No way. Okay, so anyways, so I'm going to let this run while I do the next part, which is now I'm going to go into the Animal Trading Center, and I'm going to filter 
And here is the last tip of this video. Um, I go ahead and trade these all out for as cheap as I possibly can. So I just go one dollar trade. I didn't know you could do this, but you can't for some reason. You can't do it if you have multiple clicked, which is really unfortunate. So you have to have one click within the one trade. And then this can help anybody else who's able to continue breeding. Ah, these penguins for the final shove of the challenge. You know, I know we hit the challenge already, but they usually go pretty fast. So now I'm just gonna let those sit for a minute, right? And then again, come back into my zoo population maturity. African penguin, check if there's any new ones. Nope. And all the ones I don't wanna breed are on contraceptives already. So if they age up on contraceptives, I know that they can just... This guy's oh, you don't have a good fertility gene. It's okay. You have a good one. Yeah, and so that's that. Ugh, it becomes a little laggy with a lot in franchise mode, so it's really important to me. Like when I woke up this morning, my zoo was wrecked with the thousand. So it took me a really long time to get it back in check, right? So that's it, yeah. Tip one, when you want to go ahead and um, when you want to go ahead and control your population, go ahead and press pause and then go ahead and open it. Sort by maturity and the species that you are looking for. If you notice something that's not desirable to you, go ahead and turn on contraceptives. As they age up, you'll see that they remain on contraceptives and it's easy for you to identify who you might want to do a quick trade with. You can play again when you do an action to really quickly have that happen and then pause again. Don't forget to sort by maturity and species, although I wish it would stay, you know, sometimes like the building ones do, but nope. And then you can check that as they age up, you can give them to your fellow community members for cheap and continue on the breeding journey. So yeah, that's it for this tip, really. I hope you all appreciate it and it's handy for you all and please let me know if any of you have any other tips on how to manage your population when it comes to these breeding challenges or a breeding zoo and franchise mode since they really tend to lag out and it's important so yeah i hope you all enjoyed awesome job on completing that challenge uh last minute right we we're down to the wire i think um, but we completed it. Yay. Uh, excited to see what we get and thank you all so much and have a great rest of your day. Bye.